Welcome back to the Better Than Yesterday podcast, where we focus on information, motivation, and realness. It is Thursday, March 19, episode 150. Oh, we hit it, 150. Uh, Packed show today. First topic, don't be lazy. I know I know this is the time to be lazy, but you still can do other things. You still can attack some things. You still can go hard at some things. Outwork the world because everybody's about to pull back now. I noticed that with myself. So I had to come up with some new ideas. Got some things coming. Got to keep pushing because through all of this, we're going to return back to the normality of things and just keep pushing. So just keep working. Keep grinding. Outwork the world. This is a time to focus on some stuff, some detailed stuff that you didn't particularly you didn't have time to get to. So with that little extra time you got, some people, a lot of people are still working, actually. Uh, most of the world is not, but some people are still working. So just find that time to put those extra details in with that extra time that you have now. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm reconfiguring some things, um, getting some new knowledge on some stuff, uh, changing up some concepts, some things that's going to come. There's going to be changes to the show. Looking forward to it for the better. Not no crazy changes. Uh, Just real good stuff like that. Topic two. Look, this is for all my stock market people. Do not sell. Understand all that you have to do. I understand some of y'all have brokers. Some of y'all have uh, people who do your stuff for them. This is a time for you to start checking into what you're investing into. Now, if you want to think stocks, stocks are long term. If you're a day trader... It's a little bit different right now. You're kind of on limbo. Most people are not day traders. Day traders are a very tough position. But if you're into index fund, mutual fund, chill. Do not sell anything. All you have to do is look at the 10-year value. Even with dips, it's still higher than 10 years. It's long term. Think about it. You do not lose that money that was lost in the stock market until you sell and pull your money out. So this time next year, if you just sit on that, even if you're living off your money from the stocks right now, uh, let's say you worth one two million dollars and you lost two hundred grand through all this crap, you have not technically lost it until you pull all your money out. So all you had to do is just chill back, calm down. If you're living off the two million right now, spend your money, take your time, be a little frugal, whatever in this situation, but. Please understand by this time next year, it'll probably get back to where it's at and not only get back to where it's at, probably be making you money, but for sure in five years, it'll be back. You don't need all that money now. You don't need to buy nothing now. The world is not ending. So please do not panic and sell. You do not lose the money until you sell it. That is what's happening. The company's going on right now because everything's going on, but everything, the economy will return. And don't tell me it won't. All you got to do is look at the graph from 2009, the S&P, and you can see that it went up. It tripled since 2009. If you just go back and do some research and look. Topic three, you got to stick to the script. You got to just continue to be focused on your plan. Successful business plans that just keep going and coming at you with the same, with the same, with the same. Stick to your plan. You make minor changes, minor changes for the better. If it doesn't work out, you can go back, but nothing drastic. You know what I mean? This, Like I said, we're in a crazy time where every you just got to keep going as much as you can. My plan is a little off with my physical stuff. I will be fine. And the gym's closed. I need. I always think of it. I'm thinking of it like this in a positive um, mindset. I'm thinking of it like this. Look, I might need to rest. Maybe I was just going too hard. I'm still doing what I need to do is most for the most part. But maybe I just needed to chill back a little bit. You know what I mean? So stick to your script. Success comes with just going at it. Same thing. Like I said, minor Changes minor, minor. Topic four. You know what? Understand that right now, uh, health concerns are everything for a lot of people, and I understand that. You know, people are dying, and um, I don't want to diminish that. But one thing that I think we're just like a lot of people forgetting because you know, I guess they don't care as much. But for me, my mindset. My numbers mindset, my mental mindset, after going through a recession, like, 
it's like millennials, man. We get hit like hard as we get. We get the recession uh, when we're young in our early 20s. And then we get back with this and it's shutting the world down. We're trying to get our money together and we're paying our debt and we're getting out of school loan. We're trying to raise our kids. Like we're getting hit hard. So I don't want to hear about too many older generations talking about us being spoiled because most people don't understand that everybody that's. You know, I feel bad for the generation behind us, too, because they're in their early 20s and stuff going through what we did with the um, recession. So I get it. But everybody talks and acts like us millennials are lazy. But anyway, the whole point of this whole topic is the backlash, the economic backlash is going to be crazy. We're going to pretty pretty much go into another recession. Why? Because a lot of businesses and stuff won't reopen after this is all done. I mean, y'all didn't even think about it. Y'all think, you know, everybody, you know, talking about people being defined. People are are, are stressing hard right now. I, I have to say that. Um, Yesterday, me and my lady was discussing this. And, it, and this wasn't even a part of the topic, but it goes into coincide. Due to the financial and after, uh, economic backlash, uh, I'm just going to be honest. It's just like with the um, Great Depression and stuff like that. It's going to be suicide rates going to be up. Um depression, all of that is going up, man. I want y'all to think more than just the um the health concern about it. Because a lot of it is it's starting, you know, there's more testing going on. A lot of people are starting to recognize it. A lot of people are being mindful. So, yes, there will be more cases because it's more testing. Now, the fatality rates are going down, though. That's the thing. The fatality rates are going down. The more people, fatality rates are going down because people are aware and figuring out how to treat it. We're more advanced than other countries and stuff like that. I understand it is taking a hit, but we gotta we gotta admit they're not where we at. Anyhow, just remember this economic bad backlash. People are not gonna reopen. People are gonna go into a tremendous amount of debt. That's gonna be what I'm telling you now. Even when things open up, that's gonna be worse because a lot of people are not gonna open back up. Just just that that is important to me because, uh, like I said, I think numbers. I think money. You know, me, a lot of us will be fine, but it's going to be a whole, or I said a few, uh, some of us, most of us, I, I would say, just, just think about others in, in a general speaking. Topic five, and, um, this coincides with everything, uh, adjusting a doubt. I mean, I got to understand, I got to tell y'all, like, it, it sucks, you know, a little bit of my schedule every day is something new, something new with my day job, something new with this, some new protocol we got to go through. I just get, you know, you just got to keep adapt, uh, adapting and adjusting until figure out until things pan out. So don't give up. If you a creature of habit, a guidelines person, a same plan person every day like me, it, it throws you off. Like I said, because I'm everything's fine. And then I get this new email or I get this call from the supervisor. We're going to do this, this and that. And it just gets all kind of tangled. I am looking forward to being off this weekend because I can just clear my mind and do some things that I want to do and not be thrown off. I won't really have a schedule, which is new, but I can. it's not part of my job. You see what I'm saying? So we got to learn to adjust and adapt. And uh, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll get through this in another week. I think things will start to level themselves out and we'll be fine. And then when things start opening back up, because they will open back up, maybe not as soon as I always want them, but they will open at the end of the day. Y'all could try to deny, but they're going to open back up. Anyway, it's Thursday, March 19th, episode 150. We there. We didn't made it 150 episodes. We're still rolling. We're doing what we got to do. Uh, like I said, some things coming, some changes to the show. I'm excited about that. Um, probably next week it'll probably happen. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening to the Better Than Yesterday podcast. Uh, thanks for watching um, the YouTubes. And, uh, hey, I know, you know, it's still crazy, but, hey, still can go out there and attack these goals.